They're wild, they're shocking, and they're back. Johnny Mac left her for this woman, Hatchet. The child doesn't look like you. She don't look nothing like me. You are not. Will she test another man? The guest you've been talking about. Sit your you think she had the courage to leave him. Where's Michael? The results you've heard about. I found a rotten tooth in my bed. Do you actually think I have sex with a woman with rotten teeth? The lie detector determined that's a lie. Did they break up or make up? We've tracked them down and brought them back. I even had sex for a double cheeseburger with bacon. You're not really proud of having sex for a double cheeseburger. Hey, a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger tastes good. Try it, baby. Yep. She's here. Are you looking for your baby's daddy? Results were shocking. Who stepped up? Who backed down? Who skipped town? After the results, where are they now? We're about to find out. Shocking results. Where are they now? Recently, we met an angry woman named Delena. She was shocked when her high school sweetheart, a guy named Johnny Mac, suddenly left her for a woman named Patches. <laughs> and then he began to deny her daughter destiny. Take a look. There's no doubt that he's the father. I'm 100% sure, Mari. <laughs> Why do you think he's doing this? Because that trash he's with. She's just jealous, Delena. Said that baby is too ugly to be his. Oh, you know that baby ugly, man. I'm a genetic jackhammer. I'm Johnny Mac. I don't make ugly kids. I make future supermodels. Johnny is my man, and I will not allow him to take care of a baby who I know is not his. Hey, that baby look like she has Mexican or whatever she is. Maybe she needs to go inside. She don't look nothing like me. You are not. Delena was floored by the results. So where are they now? Delena is looking for Destiny's father, and she says she's going to return to the show when she finds him. <laughs> now, Steve was married to a woman named Katie. Over the course of the marriage, Katie admitted to cheating on him five times. Whoa. With five different guys. Whoa. Now, left Steve and his mother Marlene uncertain if he was the father of his three kids. First we heard from Steve, then his wife Katie. When I married Katie, it was the best day of my life. She cheated on me with five different men. I might not be the father of my own kids that I've been raising for three years. Steve's mother, Marlene, has been his strongest support. But tragically, Marlene is dying from a brain tumor. We need to find out today if these are Steven's kids. So this way I can die in peace. Are those your kids? I treat them like they're mine. I love them like they're mine. I know I cheated on Steven five times, and I'm truly sorry for that. <laughs> Shocked when you found out Marlene called the show. She said she had no right to stick her nose in our relationship. Oh, this nose is going to your business because your business is my business. That's my son, bitch. Wow. So it was time to meet Steve's memorable mom, Marlene, and then reveal the DNA results. That better break. All three of those kids belong to my son. A mistake. Twice. Babies. With all my heart. Maybe Katie has realized what she is doing and First now. First time, second, third, or fourth, or fifth. Which one are you talking about, Maury? When it comes to three year old Kayla, you are the father. When it comes to one and a half year old Steve Jr., you are the father. And when it comes to seven month old Anthony Steve, you are the father. You tore him apart all these years. Build him up. Build a life with him. Raise your kids. I'm glad. I'm glad. <laughs> so, with the truth out, I mean, we were all hoping 
that everything would be forgiven and Steve, Katie, and Marlene would return home one big happy family. Well, we got in touch with the mother, Marlene. You're not going to believe what happened after the show. You think Katie kept her word? You think she kept her promise to honor and cherish my son? Just like the whore that I said she was, she snuck out of the house again. I want her to know this is the last time she leaves my son and abandons my grandkids because the next time, in order to get back to them, you're going through me. Be glad that you live in a different state than Marlene. Trust me. <laughs> Recent, my staff was astounded when one of our producers received a phone call from a man named Jordan. Jordan called us from the hospital delivery room where his baby, Jory Ann, was just born. From the delivery room. You see, after his girlfriend Chelsea gave birth, Jordan took one look at Jory Ann, picked up the phone, called the Mari Show. <laughs> demanded a DNA test. Watch. Seven days ago, I gave birth to a little girl named Jory Ann. While I was still laying in the hospital bed, he had the nerve to call the Marsha and say, my baby doesn't look like him. Jordan takes one look at the baby, sees my show, gets on the phone. Yeah, yeah. You're positive. I'm 100% positive. When Chelsea finally had Jory Ann, I examined her. Right away, I picked up the phone in the hospital and dialed one 888 45 You know my number, huh? Hell yeah! You are not. Oh! <laughs> no. You want your results, man? One eight 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 four five more. We gonna tell it all. Can you believe it? Jordan was not the father. So what's happening with them now? Take a look. Mari, I was heartbroken when I found out that Jordan was not my baby's father. Even though baby's not mine, I still plan on taking care of her as one of my own. We've decided not to get a DNA test with the Jordan's real father because Jordan's already her daddy. Bye, Bye Mari. Mari. How about that? Jordan stepped up even though it's not his birth child. We met an angry woman named Rachel. She was determined to prove to a man named Jake and his fiancée, Teresa, that Jake was the father of her twins. Now, Jake claimed he only slept with Rachel one time, around the time she got pregnant. But Rachel claimed she and Jake had an on-again, off-again affair, and she took a lie detector test to prove it. He said it was one night, one time, one... Well, my lie detector test is going to prove that wrong today. But what did he say when you told him you were pregnant? He told me, congratulations, who's the dad? When I told him I was sure he was, he told me he watches enough Maury to know every girl says it for sure. I made a big mistake when I cheated on Truth with Rachel. I slept with her one time, I cannot be the father of Rachel's twins. One night stand. Yeah. That's it. Oh, yeah. And the lie detector test is gonna prove different. Oh, yeah. Fiance, oh, yeah. right? You oh, see yeah. how upset she is? Oh yeah, she's devastated from it. She has been. <laughs> what happens if these are your twins? I just man up and be the man, be the father. Okay, so it was time to hear from Jake's fiance, Teresa, and reveal the results of Rachel's lie detector test. I hate that Rachel won't stay out of my life, and I hate that she's wrecking our family. I don't want to lose Jake. She knew that I was pregnant with his kid before she even slept with him. Let's do this test. Come on. Yeah. What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm the home record when he was one lying to both of us and cheating on you with me. You knew he was with me. How many times did you have a sexual intercourse with Jake? You admitted over 10 times, and that was the truth. Oh! Yeah, yeah. You had intercourse with Jake in the last month. You said yes, we were telling you. <laughs> So Jake did sleep with Rachel more than the one time he admitted to, but would the DNA test prove that Rachel's twins were his? Here were the results. In the case of two-year-old twins, Jeremy and Austin, Jake, you are the father. Are you gonna take care of my kids? I'm the one who's been working and taking care of my you own kids. You do not work you have have welfare, you right. You're stupid. Why do you do that to me? 
After the show, we spoke to Rachel. She said since the show, she has not seen or heard from Jake. Aww. We put a call into Jake and Teresa, and we haven't had a return call from them. So, Jake, if you're out there on the show, you said you would man up. So please man up. Yeah. We'll be back right after. We've met these guests before, but their stories are far from over. She has a pimp. I even had sex for a double cheeseburger with bacon. You're not really proud of having sex for a double cheeseburger. Hey, a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger tastes good. Right, yep. She's here. Are you looking for your baby's daddy? I found a rotten tooth in my bed. Do you actually think I have sex with a woman with rotten teeth? The lie detector determined that's a lie. Did this couple split up? We have the answer. They're wild, they're shocking, and they're back. Over the years, we've heard some jaw-dropping secrets, but what happened when the studio lights went dark and the guests went home? Did they break up? Did they make up? Well, today, they're back, and you won't believe what's happened since the show. Now, this next confession involved a woman named Tasha who came to reveal a heartbreaking secret to her husband, Ryan. Of all the secrets we've had on this show, all of them, Ryan's chilling reaction was one I'll never forget. When Ryan met Tasha, he thought his life was complete. Tasha and I have a great relationship. We have two beautiful kids, and I think I got the life every man dream about. Little did he know his wife was hiding a terrible secret. I cheated on you. And that shine, it may not be yours. Serious? Yo, somebody pinch me and tell me this ain't true. Oh, we've been through. We came from down here to up here. Are you gonna tell me you're on me? My kids, my wife, it's everything to me. Everything. <laughs> Joke, sorry, yo, 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 this gotta be a joke. Ryan, you are the father. <laughs> Who is the baby dad? <laughs> wow. Now that's the way every paternity secret story should end. Now, who could forget Casey, who was committing the cardinal family sex sin? He was secretly sleeping with the babysitter. Now, oh. look at this threesome's two appearances on our show. For about the past two years, i um, sleeping with the babysitter. Baby. Oh. Last time you slept with a babysitter? Last week on my birthday. Did you sleep with your wife on your birthday? Yeah. Oh. I love you. Guess I should just tell you I've been sleeping with Jamie. to be with you. He told me he did. Oh, Nobody you. go home with your fat, stank ass. Jamie, I can't do this anymore. I've got to stay with my wife. So you're telling her to leave, right? I'm telling her to get the hell out of my house, get the hell out of my life. Just months later, Casey returned with another secret. Sleep with Jamie again. <laughs> Bring the stupid bitch out here. We Casey, tell Jamie you don't want anything to do with her. No, no, no. I don't want to be with you. I'm cutting it off. Oh, look at me. I sleep with my cousin's husband, so I'm some big Listen to me. Just yesterday, we tracked down Kathy. Guess what? Two times with the babysitter was too much to take. Kathy says she left Casey. She's remarried. Couldn't be happy. Now, Last year, we met a devastated young woman named Nicole who, Nicole at 21, took on the extraordinary responsibility of raising her teen sister, Angelique. Now, the problem was that Angelique was completely out of control. She had a pimp. She had bragged about having sex for a double cheeseburger with bacon. 
Watch. And I have my own four children, and I gave up my life for my little sister Angelique because I love her. Angelique is like a daughter to me. I watched Angelique beat on my five-year-old son, Manuel. Mm -hmm. She hit me in my face, and it hurt. She has a pimp. I've never seen her do it myself, but I've seen pictures of him. I've read text messages he sent her. She also thinks she's been pregnant. Has she been pregnant? She's been pregnant twice. I may be 14 years old, but ain't no one finna run my life, especially not that whore, Nicole. I've been having sex since I was 11 years old with over 30 different guys. My people take me out on the street and sell my body for $50. I even had sex for a double cheeseburger with bacon. It's all about fast money, baby. I'm really proud of having sex for a double cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger tastes good. Trying to get pregnant? Yep. You're beating up your five-year-old nephew who loves you to death, and you're going to be a great mother? Yep. How will you know who your baby's father is if you got five guys? Because I'll be right back up on the Maury Show. I'll be right back up on the Maury Show. So Angelique promised that she would come back here to the show to find her baby's father. Guess what? She's here. Do you think she needs a paternity test? Or do you think Angelique has changed her ways? I don't know. We're going to see for ourselves. Here is Angelique. You look great. How are you, dear? Fine. Well, have a seat. Angelique, you look different. You're wearing a different outfit. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. And you have a big smile on your face. <laughs> Are you looking for your baby's daddy? No. I came here because I changed. Well, and I changed. wanted to thank you. <laughs> Did you watch your, sh your appearance on the show? Yeah. And what did you think? It was embarrassing. It was embarrassing. Yeah. I know, Angelique, that there was somebody on my staff you thought kind of got through to you, right? Yes. Who was that? Gloria. Gloria is my producer, one of my producers. Everybody, this is Gloria. <laughs> you must be very happy. Huh? I'm very proud of you, Angelique. I think that one of the things that, like she said, was watching the show and looking at herself. And after the show, she would call me a number of times and we'd talk on the phone. I said, you know what? You're going to go back into your environment. They're going to pressure you to have sex for that double cheeseburger. You need to be, brush it off and be like, you know what? That's in the past. I don't need to do that anymore. I have better <laughs> options. I said, we all have choices. We can choose to make excuses for the environment in which we live. Or we can say, you know what? I'm going to get up. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to make a difference. I'm going to be a positive influence in my life and other people's lives. <laughs> Guess what? You see, Gloria, Gloria is a positive influence on my show. She's a positive influence on me. So we can understand where Gloria is coming from, and you picked a great role model is Gloria Harrison. Now, I know we found out a little bit about you, and we know you like to draw. This is from Gloria and the show. So this will get you started. And you know, a lot of people, a lot of people, Angelique, you know, they like to uh, write about their thoughts, and some people like to draw about their thoughts. Mm -hmm. So we'll give you that chance. And I just congratulate <laughs> you so much. Angelique, everybody. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. We've met these guests before, <laughs> and their stories are far from over. You think she had the courage to leave him. Where's Michael? Her son is denied for one reason. Vincent's mom, Sandra. You are the best. Mari, do you think Sandra took the best out of this mouth and put it in my son's mouth? They're wild, they're shocking, and they're fat. Outrageous guests, shocking results. Where are they now? You know, recently we met an unforgettable mom named Sandra. While her son Vincent was on vacation, his girlfriend Natasha cheated on him and got pregnant. Now, Natasha, the girlfriend, she denied that. Watch. You got pregnant before he went away. Way before he went away. And he wasn't denying my child to her fat behind got in the picture. Oh, really? Yeah. What do you think of her? Sandra's a fat cow. She need to get her hair done with that dusty. What you're saying is that Vincent is a mommy's boy. Yeah, stuck on her breast. 
Natasha's spending her two week old baby Vincent Jr. on me, but I don't think I'm the father. When that DNA test come back, Tasha, take a shriveled up ass back to the center and take 10 more tests. Why did you eat not his child? Because Tasha had been in and out of her house when my son was on vacation, and I seen that for myself. That is why Vincent, you are the father. That's my only son, and that's his son, right. so that's our son. Natasha? I apologize. Welcome right, to the family. It's mine. That's our baby. So Sandra wigged out on the show, but did she keep her promise and welcome Natasha into the family? Take a look at the video update. Maury, I knew that the DNA test approved. Is his son. And instead of me snooping around Natasha's house to see what she's up to, I can snoop around and spend time with my grandbaby. I'm glad these two women can finally get along so I can be a father of my son and take him on vacation with me. So thanks for everything, Maury. Bye. Bye. Now, recently, we met a very passionate woman named Aura who came to us determined to prove to a man named Antoine he was the father of her two-year-old son, Amari. The reason Antoine denied Amari, he claimed that Aura was a prostitute and that was it was her oh. He was her pimp's baby. Oh. Wow. You know what he says? You get your money from doing things. Prostituting? I'm a prosecutor, not a prostitutor, <laughs> and I'm here prosecuting you today. No, man. And if I did walk the track and do what I had to do, know that your son ain't never went to sleep hungry neither. Oh. Last time I seen Aura, she was prostituting. She told me that the pimp was the baby's dad. I'm not your baby's father. Maury, bring him out! You take some of this tape to give it you to your pimp. Man, stop trying to come out. That your child? No, that ain't my child. Antoine, you are the father. <laughs> You like that, huh? Yeah. Got some moves, doesn't she? She laid down the law, but afterward, did Antoine step up? Here's the video update. Hi, Maury. I laid down the law when I was out prosecuting Antoine, and I'm here to tell you it was completely worth it. Maury, I know that the DNA test proved that Amori is my son. Like the stand-up guy I am, I am trying to take responsibility for my son. Antoine has really stepped up. He calls and checks on Omari every day. He's even going to have him for the holidays. I'm going to continue to do the right thing. That way we can make sure Aura the Storm stays calm, cool, and collective. As you can see, we are doing great, and we have you to thank for all your help. Bye, Ori. And that is why we do paternity. Now, imagine being in a relationship so abusive, so controlling, the man you love made you sit on the floor like a dog when you misbehave. That's what happened to my next guest, Charity, who came to us praying that we could stop her boyfriend, Michael, from controlling and abusing her. Watch. All women are damn dogs. They need to be trained like dogs. If I tell Charity to sit her ass on the floor like a damn dog, you best believe she's gonna sit her ass on the floor like a dog or else these hands will be around her damn neck. Because you a dog. After being told that so many times, I start to believe it. Do you like sit on the floor in front of him and things like that? Mm -hmm. He's like your master? Yeah. You make her sit on the floor like a dog. Yeah. Sit your ass on the Sit your ass on the floor no. like a dog. No, I'm your man. That ain't your man. You don't miss me. You sit your ass on the floor like a dog. Sit your ass on the floor. She does whatever the hell I tell her to do. So we were determined to get through to both Michael and Charity. Watch what happened. In an effort to make Charity understand just how serious her situation was with Michael, we introduced her to Stephanie, a heartbroken mom whose own daughter was murdered by an abusive boyfriend. Tomorrow marks 16 months, my daughter will be gone. I go tomorrow to put flowers on my baby's grave. Get out. I speak for your mother. You don't have no mother. You don't have no mother. Yeah. I don't want that to be me. Stephanie seemed to be getting through to charity. 
but we still had Michael to deal with. So with the help of Raphael B. Johnson and David Talley, we gave Michael a glimpse into his future. If you went too far, you realize you could have killed this girl. Oh, no, well, do Mike. it, baby. No. Mike, she didn't, I'm not going said, in Mike. there, baby. Mike, that's what she said. I'm too. not going well, in there. I'm not going to see my girl in no casket, baby. <laughs> I love you. You know, you need to change, baby. So, Michael was extremely emotional after seeing his girlfriend Charity in a casket. But do you think he was capable of real change? No. Well, we're going to see for ourselves. Somebody's back here. I don't know who, so please come on out. So I sent his butt packing. You did? Yeah. You know, that's interesting because he was very emotional. You know, when Raphael and Dave got to him and seeing mm -hmm. you in the casket, he didn't change? Well, it lasted for about three days. Three days? Three days. Oh. And you know what? I couldn't deal with it no more. Right. So apparently, you met someone who kind of inspired you to leave Michael, yes, after the show. I, yes, who, I who did. Who was that? It was Stephanie. Stephanie, who we brought on this show, yes. who had lost her daughter. Yes. Guess what? Sorry. We brought Stephanie back here. She's here to see you and be reunited with you. Oh. Here's Stephanie. Would you think? I thank God. Through my daughter's tragedy, my daughter being murdered, I saved somebody. Saved one. And it's in your oh, thank you. You saved me. You saved me. That's what you would tell all women out there who are in, the, in that situation now. Yeah, leave. Your life is not worth staying with somebody like that. You can find your life isn't worth it at all. It's not. We'll be back with more updates right after this. I'm sorry. Mom, you think I'm having sex? Well, guess what? I am. It's my baby. Did she change her way? This update will blow you away. I found a rotten tooth in my bed. Do you actually think I have sex with a woman with rotten teeth? The lie detector determined that's a lie. Did this couple split up? We have the answer. They're wild, they're shocking, and they're fat. Now imagine finding out your boyfriend cheated on you with your own mother. That's what happened to my next guest, Kavita, when her boyfriend, Nate, brought her here to reveal a secret. What's the secret? I cheated on my fiance with her mother. How many times did you cheat? One time. What happened? She had on pajamas ever. Pretty sexy. Are you nervous? I'm very nervous. You we talk about everything. Baby, I slept with your mother. <laughs> don't touch me! Don't, don't touch me! I swear to God, you better not touch me! You slept with my mother? It could be anybody else. Why I have to be my mom? It was only one time, baby. It was in the. That don't make it, it any better. That's my mother. Here's Elaine. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm your daughter. I man. know you are. You told me you hurt me. You slept with my mother. You could at least been gay. I could have accepted that. <laughs> oh, I love you from the bottom of my heart. This would never happen again. I know what ain't gonna happen again. I know not to never bring another man around you. So, do you think Kavita was able to forgive Nate and her mom, Elaine, for sleeping together? Take a look at what happened after the secret. Maury, I was honest with Kavita when I told her that I cheated on her one time with her mother. Now, I don't care who's wearing sexy pajamas, I'm never going to cheat on my wife. I believed Nate when he said he was sorry. I forgave him, my mother, 
My mother and I, we talk all the time. Things could not be better. See, we're married now, and I vowed to always stay committed to my wife. Maury, things are going so great. We hope to see you soon, Maury. Bye, Bye Maury. Maury. Now, we have met many outrageous teens over the years, but 15-year-old Olivia was one of the worst we've ever seen. See, Olivia's mother came to us desperate for help because Olivia was out of control. In fact, she was so sex-crazed, she sent us a video diary of all the places she liked to have sex. Watch. Look at her, look at the way she's dressed. She's a street walker. We sent a camera crew and we were shocked by what she revealed to us. Mom, you think I'm having sex? Well, guess what? I am, and I'm about to tell you all of my favorite places. My bed. These bars work great with handcuffs. Another one of my favorite places is the curb because cars drive by and they see what I'm doing. My next favorite place is the car. I like it on it and in it and so do my men. <laughs> That's my baby. Get picked up on the sidewalk by strangers? I don't get picked up on the sidewalk. I have sex on the sidewalk. I have sex Along with the rest of the wild teens, we sent Olivia to boot camp. I believe that just like this is a joke. Well, Luna, you know what? This is not a joke. Oh, we ain't even started. Welcome to boot camp. Would Olivia's grueling experience change her out of control ways? So after an intensive stint at boot camp, were we able to get through to Olivia? Take a look at this video update. Hi, Mari. I am so proud of Olivia. She has came a long way. Well, Mari, since the show, I've learned my lesson. I became a devoted mother to my beautiful son and soon-to-be-born daughter. It makes me so happy to see her take responsibility for herself and her children. She is such a loving mother. Well, Mari, I hope to see you soon. Next time I come back, I'll show you the new addition to our family. Bye, Mari. Wow, one baby, another one on the way. So, Olivia, we're glad to hear you're enjoying motherhood. We wish you all the best. We hope that you're taking care of yourself. Okay, we'll be back right after this. I found a rotten tooth in my bed. Do you actually think I have sex with a woman with rotten teeth? The lie detector determined that's a lie. Did this couple split up? We have the answer. Maury. They're wild, they're shocking, and they're back. Now, this first story revolved around some rotten evidence. See, Connie came to the show because she suspected her husband, Emmett, was cheating. And the most disturbing evidence? Connie said she found a rotten tooth in her own bed. When I married Emmett one year ago, it was one of the happiest days of my life. But the last 12 months have been filled with more pain and suspicion than newlywed bliss. I was in the hospital. When I came home, I found a rotten tooth in my bed. If I found out my husband was having sex with some woman in my bed, I'm a kick his Day is my birthday. My husband failed this test. He is going to have hell to pay. How about the noises outside the apartment? I used to hear like, oh. I would get up and run outside, and I always see my husband sweating. Where did he say he came from? Oh, I've been walking really fast. I had to use the bathroom. <laughs> so how was Emmett going to explain that? Here's what he had to say. Son, I really do love you. You always accuse me. It really, really hurts. You say you found a tooth in our bed. Do you actually think I have sex with a woman with rotten teeth? About those noises. That's all in the mind. It's in my mind that your drawers were put on backwards three times soon. No, no, no. I bet there's nobody in this world who's ever found a tooth in their bed. That's an insult to me, thinking I would have to be with a woman or something with a teeth falling out. So the results were in, and here's how they unfolded. Are you still in love with Connie? You said yes. That's the truth. Okay. Come on with it. Come on with it. Do you think Connie is a good lover? You said yes. <sighs> That's the truth. Okay. Ah! Do you think Connie is seriously mentally unstable? You said no. That's a lie. I know you did not say nothing like that. We asked, did you regret marrying Connie? You said no. That's a lie. No! Have you ever cheated on Connie? You said no. That's a lie. No! Did the rotten tooth that Connie found in your bed from a woman you cheated with, you said no, that's a lie. No!
She gave him a second chance. Well, we wish you the best, and hopefully, we won't see you again. We'll be back. Right after this. And I met him, pulled his pants down, he had a white ring around. He said I was eating a powdered donut, and I went to the bathroom. Was it because you had sexual contact with another woman? You said no. That was a did they split up or stay together? We have the answer. Maury. They're wild, they're shocking, and they're back. Okay, new season, new guests, new update. What do cheating, suspicions, and powdered donuts have in common? Watch this. You even have a nickname for him, right? Yep. Bring around the <laughs> Come home from staying out all night, and I met him, pulled his pants down, and he had a white ring around I said, what the hell is that? He and what said, did he say? He said, I was eating a powdered donut, and I went to the bathroom. White ring came from a white donut that I was eating earlier, and when I went to the bathroom, it must have gotten under me. Of all the stories, I hope, I but want to believe the donut story. <laughs> what was that donut? When you came home with a white ring on your private part, was it because you had sexual contact with another woman? You said no. That was a lie. Oh, my God! He's got to go. He's got to go when he gets home. However, despite Delina's promise to break up with Reggie, she didn't. One year later, Delina and Reggie came back because Delina found another suspicious ring. This one involved Parmesan cheese. <laughs> this time, it's not a donut, right? No. He's saying it's Parmesan cheese off his pasta. Or baby powder. Clint is trying to white stain again. It could be from the white Parmesan cheese I use on my pasta. It could be baby powder, but it ain't sick. <laughs> Since the last show, have you had sex with any other woman besides Delina? You said no. That was a lie. You've had sex with more than three women. Did the white stains that Delina found on your underwear come from you having sex with another woman? You said no. That was a lie. <laughs> Did she leave him finally? No. We received this video message from Delina. Watch. Hi, right, Maury. I want you to know that I've been a good boy since the last show. I stay away from donuts and cheese. And Maury, I want you to know, I've lost 45 pounds, I'm hot, I'm sexy, and I'm as fierce as they come. And Maury, here's my plan. I'm gonna lose five more pounds, and I'm gonna bring Reggie back to the show. And when he fails the lie detector test for the third time, I'm gonna dump his ass on national TV. So get ready, Maury, because we're coming your way. And we'll be back right after this. We'll be right back. They're wild, they're shocking, and they're back. Now, are you looking for the perfect holiday gift for the father or a Mari Show fan in your life? Well, check this out at www.marishow.com. The great new merchandise available now at the Mari store. So, let your dad know how special he is to you with this I Am The Father t-shirt. And guess what? Our whole audience today is going to get one of these great shirts. Please. So be sure to check out the Mari store at www.marishow.com. Everybody has to get the shirt. If you don't have one, go buy it. These are great. Even though I'm not a father, I'm gonna buy that one for my dad. I'm gonna get this for my dad too. Thanks, Thanks Maury. Dude, just got the shirt. Love it. It's mine though. You gotta go get your own. So go get one. Yeah.